J.R. Ali is another famous travel filmmaker. London City in motion one of his amazing travel films. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna explain you how you can make lighting effects inside After Effects. So let's jump into Adobe After Effects. I'll use this footage which is 5 seconds length. First, we need to place the time indicator here. If you have background music, then following the music base to position the time indicator. Now make sure no layers are selected by clicking on this blank area. Okay, it is time to take the paint tool and disable the fill. Next, we have to draw a line around this jacket. If it needs, you can zoom in by scrolling the mouse. And to move this video, hold on the space key to get the hand tool which allows you to move the video around. Now get back to the selection tool and select shape layer 1 to draw another line or shape inside this layer. Again take the pen tool and draw a shape around this backpack. Now we have to select the selection tool and change zoom level to fit. Let's name this layer like a body by selecting a rename. Next expand the layer to go to the contents. Here shape 1 is the body or jacket and shape 2 is the backpack. Now expand the shape on and go to stroke on. Well it is time to change the color from this pop-up window. Now you can pick the color red for shape on. Change stroke width to find which adjustment suits your video. I wanna change it to 2. Now go to stroke on under shape 2. Change its color to the blue and hit ok. Stroke width make its value 2. So here is our glowing light effects for the body and backpack. Call off the body layer and make sure this layer is selected. Now hit the alter plus open bracket to create an in point. Drag the time indicator to the right on frame by hitting the paste down key on the keyboard. Next create an out point by hitting the alter plus close bracket at the same time. Let's play the video to see the lighting effects. At this moment, we have to duplicate this layer 4 times by hitting the Ctrl plus D key at the same time. Now drag this body layer 4 to the right and place it exactly here. If you have music, then place the layer following the music base. Let's do the same thing for rest of the layers. Ok now select this layer for repositioning shapes. You can just expand the layer, go to the contents, select shape 2 and change its position. Next, select path 1 for changing masking points, if it needs. It is time for the body part, so let's go to the shape on and reposition it. For changing points, select the path 1. Well, it looks fine now. Let's go to the body layer 3 and select shape 2 to reposition it and click on the point to enable all of the points to change their position. Now select shape 1 and do the same things. This way we can do the rest of the work. In this part of the tutorial, we will draw some lines on the mountain. So first of all, we must deselect all of the layers. Now we have to take the pen tool and draw the line here. To exit this drawing and start a new drawing, select the top layer once. Well, the drawing has completed. Now right click on it to select a rename. We can call this layer hill. Now expand the layer inside the contents. It has 6 shapes, which are actually lines. Let's go to the shape 6. Under stroke 1, we change the color first. Pick a color from this pop-up window. To use the same color for rest of the lines, copy this hex code by hitting the Ctrl plus C key. And finally hit OK. Stroke width, we can make its value 2. So here are the changes. Let's expand shape 5. Click on color to open the color window. Now select this hex color code and hit the Ctrl plus V key at the same time to paste the previous hex code. And confirm this color by hitting OK. Next change the stock width. We can follow the same technique for rest of the shapes.
we are almost at the end of the Gerali lighting tutorial. Now select this layer and hit Alt plus open bracket to cut here. Hit the paste down key once to move the time indicator on frame to the right and hit Alt plus close bracket. To duplicate this layer, hit the Ctrl plus D key 4 times and change their position. If any changes need, then highlight the layer first and select the selection tool. Go to that highlighted layer and find out that line needs adjustment. Click any of the points to enable all of the points and take the initiative for changes. That's all for today's generally lighting effects inside After Effects. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. You can watch other tutorials on this channel. I'll be back in the next video.